Hi guys, welcome back to Trinity Marine, world's largest marine antiques and decor reclamation yard. Today I'm going to give you a walk through some of the gear that's coming back from the most important ship that we've ever salvaged from, um, HMS Hermes. Falklands war hero, flagship of the fleet, uh, longest serving warship. What, a, a ship that we'd had our eye on for about 10 years actually, knowing full well that she'd probably go to the breakers one day and um, annoyingly for us. She was run up the beach during COVID, which made it an absolute nightmare because we could only have a really brief inspection of her and all the negotiations were done over the phone instead of in person and we couldn't oversee the removal of the items like we normally would. But anyway, we're really proud of what we managed to get off her from the really large superstructure sort of stuff right down to the little trinkets. One thing we're really proud of are these beautiful gangway ladders, the best ones we've ever had actually. And, and, and the most historically significant ones we've ever had. Burmese teak, beautifully made, been on the ship for 70 years, ready for a life ashore now. In terms of woodwork, we were also really happy to, to get the teak gratings. They were a bit of a gamble. Wasn't sure from the photograph whether they were, how old they were, but as soon as I saw that one come out of the container, I knew they were, they were old, British made, Burmese teak really practical useful lovely little objects they are big in terms of big stuff they don't come much bigger and heavier than the watertight doors customers and the guys that work here thought i was crazy for buying all of these but they're an iconic thing and a really important part of a really important ship these have just come in they haven't had uh, they haven't been washed and prepared yet those are the first batch that have come in they've had the, 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 the they've been fully sort of cleaned up now nearly all the all the doors have the original markings on them as to where they were on the ship, so you can tell where they were. Um, there's 30 or 40 of those, 300 kilos a piece. Not the most practical thing to put in your house, but gorgeous when you do, and a hell of a talking piece. Oh, I'll give you a sneak peek of um, what's just coming in now, okay? So keep your eye on the website for when these things are uploaded. The telephones have started to come home now. Again, a bit of a gamble, because you never know really know without inspecting every single one which ones were original to the Royal Navy and which ones were Indian Navy. This was the first one out of the box and I was delighted to see not only the British maker's name but the 1963 date on there as well. So proper HMS Hermes vintage and used during the Falklands War. Um, one of the two Francis signalling lamps, the daddy of all ships lamps, love those. Uh, th th that's a trigger operated signalling system um, there's a pair that come off board, they were on the flight deck. Those are the lights, the start of, there's about 30 of those, the hangar lights um, from the flight hangar and only, a, I didn't get as many as I wanted, but that's one of my favourite nautical lights in terms of style and the quality and, uh, and in this case an incredible provenance. So I'm sure they'll sell really well and really quick. Um, here's a porthole that's, that's on its way out. The portholes, not only was it difficult to remove them, but at the time when I negotiated over them, non-ferrous prices were at sky high, still are. So there was actually a moment when I nearly gave up on the portholes because they were so expensive, but we felt they were really important to own them. So we, we got about 20, 30 off the ship and made a note of where they came from out of the ship. Over here, we've got in our HMS section, the, uh, the ship's lights and the speakers. I'll go and show you them. They're in the Royal Navy Department. Here we are. It's one of my favorite areas of the whole showroom, actually, the Royal Navy stuff, I love it. Um, those are the HMS Hermes speakers, small, medium, large. Um, we bought every speaker off, off the ship we could. Um, I'm delighted that we did because they're all so cool looking and an evocative piece of the ship, I think. My favorite's the large one. Why? Well, mainly because there's enough room inside to fit a Bluetooth speaker, that's what I've done at home. Um, and again, they're all, all marked up with their original maker's badges, dated 1963. So again, a guarantee that they were a big, serious part of the ship and they're, uh, they're at the Falklands. The lights, hundreds of lights have come off the ship. We bought them from all the cabins, passageways, wheelhouse, captain's room, flight deck, everywhere. From the, uh, from the bulkhead 90 degree lights, to the ceiling fixed lights, all made by Playmit in the 60s. So again, they've worked hard for 70 years at sea and, and at war. 
and now they're ready for a new life ashore. These have been, uh, this is just a very small selection of the table lamps we've made. We've presented them nicely on a wooden base with a chrome provenance tag, lovely silk flex, switch line, uh, inline switches, no expense spared. And uh, I'd like to think there's a style for everybody. There's, there's, again, there's probably about 10 different styles of those. Um, that's it for now. You know, there's a whole warehouse full of stuff in India. We'll let you know when it's all coming home. Keep an eye on our social media for news of it more arriving. And keep your eye on the website in the next couple of weeks because of the new stuff that's just arrived is getting put on.